I heat my house and my shop that I'm in now with an outdoor wood furnace. The last video I made was of me lighting my wood boiler and I didn't talk at all through that video. This one, I'm gonna blab my mouth the entire time. I've made a few videos on my outdoor wood furnace and when I'm reading through the comments, I see a lot of people um, with a lot of differing opinions. A popular one that comes up a lot is I would never use a wood boiler. I use a wood stove or an insert in my house and I go through a lot less wood. So I wanna talk about that and compare the two. I'm qualified to have this conversation because I have both. And at my last house, all that we had uh, was an insert in the fireplace, a high efficiency insert. Uh, and we did a lot of our heating with that. I think the biggest difference between the two of them is wood consumption. But it's not a real fair comparison. You know, if you uh, are heating a place like what we have here, I'm looking at my house out this window, I have a 3,300 square foot house, I have a four car garage, and I have almost uh, five, well, about 4,300 square foot shop out here. So the outside, uh, the outdoor boiler heats my house, two furnaces, an on-demand hot water heater, radiant heat in the basement floor, radiant heat in the four-car garage. It also does out here in my shop, the office, my woodworking shop, my main 40 by 60, I call it the mechanics area, a 16 by 56 storage room in the back, as well as the loft. So it's a lot of square footage that we're heating with the boiler. I think that the two of them are more comparable if you're not heating such a big area. You know, so if I were just doing, let's say, a workshop, or if I were just doing the house. Our last house uh, was a much smaller ranch. We heated from the fireplace. We would turn the fan on um, in the forced air unit, and, and it would pull the heat throughout the house and keep it heated. Uh, so it was really practical there. Um, but I also had a shop there, and I had another wood burner out there. And that had a wing for woodworking, and there's no forced air to push the heat around. So I had another wood burner in the shop. So when you get to multiple rooms, multiple buildings and structures, I think that, that um, their performance or the, the practicality of one versus the other, they start to pull away, if that makes sense. So I guess it's not really fair to say that one is better than the other because uh, they both have their uh, pros and cons depending on the situation. Again, here where I have so many um, different structures, rooms, different kinds of heat, you know, you obviously couldn't run radiant heat with a, a you know, wood stove in your fireplace. So there's an advantage that way. But uh, the idea of a wood stove, uh, like in our last place, and a forced air unit pulling the hot air into the other rooms, sounds inviting, especially when you uh, factor in the amount of work it is to process wood uh, on, on a scale uh, that you need for a wood boiler. So let's take a look at some of the benefits to a wood stove. I really liked our wood insert at our last house. Um, the house was heated with natural gas uh, in a boiler and we had cast iron radiators. There were a few times uh, when we were building room additions where I had to cut the heat off. We had forced air in the attic that just ran air conditioning, but it was nice to be able to turn that on, light a fire, and we could pull the heat into all of the rooms when we weren't using the cast iron uh, radiators with the boiler. One of the things I like most about a wood stove, if you follow my channel at all, you'll know we're building some cabins in Kentucky. So I leave for a week at a time. Um, and in the winter, it's hard for my wife or my kids to come outside and keep the stove full. Mostly because nobody wants to go outside and do it. But if you have a boiler, if you're familiar with the wood, um, it works best when the wood is big. 
Uh, and some of those pieces are heavy. Some of them are, you know, 50, 60, 80 pounds even. So throwing all that wood in the stove uh, is hard. One of the things I like most about the wood stove, it's all contained inside. You know, my wife really likes to keep a fire going. She likes to have the living room um, nice and warm, even if we aren't running the blower and heating the whole house with it. Uh, I put the firewood in the garage so nobody has to go very far out into the cold to get it. The other thing to that note I would say is that you can do a wood stove um, when you feel like it. So if I do leave or if we do just get sick or of doing it or run out of firewood, you don't have to. You can just let it go out and not use it. Uh, where a boiler it's a little different, you know, that's kind of an all or none. You've got uh, water inside it that can freeze, you know, you can keep the pumps running. Once you light it, you need to keep it going. The, the process of warming it back up again and warming that water takes a lot of wood. Thing You get it going in the fall and, and you keep it going all the way till spring, till you're ready to not use it. Um, where a wood stove, you know, if you're someone that just likes wood heat, you're not so concerned about you know, trying to heat your whole house full time with it, you know, you can do it part time. You, you can do it for an evening. Um, you just can't do that with the wood boiler. Another really obvious advantage to a wood stove would be that initial cost. You can buy a decent one for a few thousand dollars. Um, you can even buy one off Facebook, Craigslist. I guess the same could be said for a boiler, but there's not nearly the initial cost to purchase it or the cost to hook it up, plumb it into your uh, existing heating and hot water system. You know, I paid about $10,000 for my boiler and about the same amount to get it working. And, and I did quite a bit of the work myself. So you're talking $20,000 initial investment where uh, a wood stove, I, I guess if you didn't, if you had to do you know, the full chimney and, and put it out the roof and flash it into your roof and stuff. You could have a few thousand dollars invested, uh, but a quarter or a third the cost of the boiler. So that's a big advantage, especially um, if you're trying to recoup that cost by with the savings on the utilities, you'd get there a lot faster with a wood stove than you would with a boiler. So let's look at the advantages of a boiler. Right now, at my house, I am heating nearly 12,000 square foot with it. Three full baths and two half baths, because uh, there's one in the shop, um, and I don't know, numerous sinks, things like that, the laundry. Uh, you just, you couldn't even touch that with a wood stove, you know. I consider having a wood stove inside an advantage. To be able to go into the heated garage, grab a few logs, come inside, put them in the stove. When it comes to the scale, or I'll say the amount of wood required to heat everything we do here, it's a good thing the boiler's outside. When you look at the amount of mess, uh, when we get done going through an entire shed's worth of firewood, uh, you could fill a pickup bed with the amount of stuff that's fallen off all that wood. So to have that mess outside and to be able to load the stove outside, I think that that is an advantage for the boiler. So one of the other pros for a wood boiler is that it's more efficient. And hear me out because I know that that will be met with some controversy, I guess. And, and if you guys feel differently, let me know uh, why in the comments. I want to hear the reasoning. I go through way more wood than I thought I would in my boiler. I bet that we burn about eight cords. It's hard to tell. I've got a firewood shed here. Um, when I pack this thing like it is now, It'll last three, sometimes four weeks, depending on how cold it is, you know, how much demand there is for heat. My wood stove, I go through about, I don't know, a, a bin maybe, a, a month, and that's if we're really burning a lot in it, um, which there's not as much need to use it with the boiler going. We mostly use it for uh, ambiance, you know, if we want it to be just a little bit warmer in the living room. For an evening, uh, we'll make a fire. Um, we go through a fraction of the wood, but we are heating a fraction of the space. We heat just our living room with that, and it's already got forced air going uh, that runs off the boiler. So I think if you were to put, you know, half a dozen wood stoves around my property and my shop and my office and my garage, the basement, you know, uh, and, and burn more of it to do 
the hot water, you would find that you went through more wood that way than I do in the boiler, if that makes sense. So I think having one place to put the wood to heat all of the things that we do, uh, even though it takes an astronomical amount of wood, it is really less than it would if you were trying to fill, you know, a hundred wood stoves. Okay, so one of the advantages, um, I'll say one of the disadvantages for the boiler, I know I'm all over the place here with advantages and disadvantages and the boiler and the stove and whatever, but the boiler requires power. If the pumps aren't pumping or the fan doesn't blow when it calls for heat, it does nothing for you. So not only do you need the pumps in the unit itself to work in the fan, I have a pump loop here in my shop and I have another one in the house and that's just to get the heat in there. Then you've got to go through plate exchangers, you've got to go through coils in the furnaces. Um, the furnace has to run to blow the forced air into the house. The pumps have to work in the radiant heat uh, loops in the basement floor in the garage as well as out here in my shop. The on-demand units have to work in the hot water. Now obviously with a wood stove you're not doing your hot water. If there's a power failure, if there's a storm that knocks out the power lines. Here we have a backup generator. Um, it'll run the boiler. But if you don't have that, I mean, let's let's add that $10,000 to the cost uh, of the boiler to make sure it works when the power's out. Um, a wood stove can heat the entire house without any power. So that's something to think about. You know, if your concern is to have a backup source of heat, a boiler's not it because my furnaces take less power to run by themselves running off propane than they would if I have the boiler. I don't know, something, something to think about there. Another advantage to the boiler is the time you save on processing wood, which sounds weird because it takes a lot of time uh, and it takes a lot of wood. If you're on the same page with me that to heat this many things with multiple wood stoves would take this, at least the same, if not more wood uh, than you put in a boiler, Keep in mind that it has to be smaller to fit into the stove. It has to be drier as well. Um, you know, a boiler, you could cut a tree down today, cut it up into big chunks and roll them right in and they'll burn and they'll provide heat for you. And, and this is another thing that'll probably uh, cause some debate. You can burn green wood in a boiler just fine. You can get away with a lot more. You get more BTUs, but most of the time with a boiler, you're just trying to keep a fire going until it calls for heat. And when it does, to take that water from 150 to 170 doesn't require very much heat. So your stove, your boiler rather, spends a lot of time in idle. So if you've got big logs that maybe aren't seasoned as well as some, uh, like you'd put in your wood stove, uh, I think they burn longer. I don't know, what do you think? So I could probably go on forever <laughs> on this topic, um, but there's a ton of you guys uh, that comment on my videos that have really educated opinions on um, what works in your scenario. So I'd be interested to hear those, and, and so would the other uh, subscribers as well. So let me know in the comments what, what you guys think about uh, a wood stove versus a wood boiler. Anyways, uh, that's all I got for this one. Uh, I won't ramble on any more than I already have. We'll see you on the next one.